hard JavaScript interview questions. That's right, we're back at it again. This time I found one on the internet, on Twitter. This one is actually really, really good. If I was an interviewer, I would probably ask this question. It's, it covers like basically everything, everything, every single aspect of JavaScript. It's tricky. It's not extremely hard, but you got to know some stuff to be able to solve it. As you can see, we have some sort of a constructor here and an object and we can make a new object and we call uh, the, the get h function twice. And the question is, what are we going to see on the output? So take your time, take a look at it and write in the comment section below what's going to be on the output. Let's try. It's 29 twice. So it printed 29, 29. But the question is why? Why 29? Why twice 29? And what's happening here? There's all kinds of tricks to make it a lot harder than it looks, but it's actually very simple. Okay, so in this constant person, this one, this function, it starts here, it ends here. I mean, it ends here. It's called IIFE, immediately invoked function expression. So it basically does nothing. It's just to, like bend your mind a little bit. But in this case, it does nothing. It's, it basically executes whatever it's in this function body. So let's now try to focus on this function body here. Okay, let's not, let's not try to divert, divert our thoughts. Nothing is important right now. In this function body, we get another person. And this person uh, expression equals to a function which has a name person, which is not important. That, again, you don't have to name the function. You can make an anonymous function. It, it doesn't matter. We don't need to do this. So, which, which is basically used as a constructor later on here down because we are returning this person so this is this which is used here so that's the same thing because this is what the function returns so we use this as a constructor so this dot name equals name this dot h equals h now we also modify the prototype of this object basically with by adding a get h function in this get h function we call an increment h function which is defined down here i mean here and we log the age. So that means that we first increment the age, which doesn't happen obviously. And the question is why? What's happening? We are incrementing this dot age. It's not happening because in function declarations like this, this is not, not the girl here. This is not the girl. It's the global object. It's the window object or the global this. And if you're running in strict mode, then it's undefined. What is this incrementing? Well. It creates basically it tries to increment a variable in the global this so it does nothing okay so that's all but why is this whole shebang a good question well because you need to know what how these immediately invoked functions work and then you need to know how to make an object from a prototype and that you can define a new method in the prototype via this and oh by the way you don't need this either and you need to know that if you declare a function anywhere it's it's gonna bind the global to this in the function scope this is always going to reference a global scope in a function declaration now the next question might be well how would you fix that i've made two possible variations how to fix this if you don't want to change anything just one line instead of calling the increment age normally we do call this What's this? What's happening? Let's read the description. Calls a method of an object, substituting another object for the current object. So you can pass on the this argument for this function declaration right here. So now this became the actual person, the actual object, the actual girl we created from this person. That's what the call method is for. And also we can pass on arguments, but in this case it was not necessary. So this became the actual girl.age and it works. And to show you it works, there you go. See, it's 30, 31. So we increment and then console log. Very good. So this is one solution. What's, what's another different solution? We can swap out the function declaration with a function expression. Be careful. The function expression needs to be an arrow function because if I did it with the, the same way, it, it, would, it wouldn't work. Because you know, and you know, that in arrow functions, that this 
is not bound it's inherited from the parent scope and in this parent scope we are in the person prototype aka i mean in the girl object so we are in the girl basically and to show you this also works there you go it is working but be wary i can't move this here because why not we already know that because these are not hoisted and another interesting thing about this question is that you need to know that this is hoisted this is this goes up and you could answer that it's gonna print something some error or something else but it's not because function declarations are hoisted to the top on the other hand this constant is not hoisted if i try to save and run this again cannot access synchronization before initialization so that's interesting it's not gonna work and the same goes for if i change this to war well it's not gonna work either see no because it's not a function it's not yet war increment age goes here that's true but it doesn't get a value it's it's not a function that's 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 another possible solution to the problem your interviewer might might ask well how would you simplify this because this is just too complicated well you could like remove this immediately invoked function expression because do not need it you're returning the same constant name so why would you do that there is no point to do this you could remove the function names you don't need those so you come up with this this is encapsulated within a single object so you say the person is a constructor we will set the name and the age and we do the whole shebang all together and it's smaller and let's check if it works it does work 30 31 it, it works as expected is there a different way to do this maybe using classes yeah can we do that of course let's take a look so you can rewrite this whole thing into the more into more modern class declarations i think it's a little bit easier to read if you're dealing with this type of code i'd recommend using classes but it's up to you in javascript you can get away with almost anything i prefer using classes when i can when not then i'll just go back to this i would i would suggest this and let's check if it works of course so there there you go so i think this question very much encapsulates everything you should know about javascript before doing an interview thank you victoria very much for sharing this question with us and by that this is the end of the video leave a like subscribe like and subscribe why don't you subscribe subscribe for more content like this and see you in the next one bye bye